Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be playing a game called uh, Oregon Trail Director's Cut. Uh, I've played this a couple times before. I absolutely love the game. It is amazing. Um, you can get it as part of, or used to be able to get it as part of the Humble Bundle. Um, it's available on Android I think as well, which is, it's about five bucks. Uh, also on iPhone and, and Steam. Um, this game is a game that was based on a old educational game called The Oregon Trail, which released, was released in the United States in about 1971. Uh, it's made from a company which you just saw before called Men Who Wear Many Hats. Um, and yeah, but this one, this one's more based on, obviously you can see here, it's based on uh, a zombie apocalypse or a zombie survival game where you, where you travel with a few companions and uh, try to survive as long as possible. Now today, because I've already played it and I've clocked it um, in easy and normal, I thought I'd give it a go in survival. Easy and normal is, it actually is quite a bit, easy, like a really easy actually, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna try this to get a bit of a challenge out of it and see what we can do. Alright, so campaign mode, overwrite the old save, suicide, play the intro. Draw a line between the target, yourself, to shoot. Okay. Oh, okay, well, in the, uh, in easy and normal mode, usually when you pull back to aim, oh, bugger. When you pull back to aim, uh, usually you get a line that comes up, like a dotted line of where you're aiming, so it makes it quite a bit easier. Um, this isn't too bad, I don't think. Oh, okay, maybe maybe it is. <laughs> Who knows? All right, um, sweet foot shot. Ends up just blowing his brains out. Oh, okay, yeah, that's I'm, I'm shocking. Oh, how am I? Right. So some unknown stranger has come to save us dressing green and now he's not okay cool um well then it looks like i've just saved your bacon i reckon we stand a ch better chance out there if we stick together my name is clements i used to be a priest not much for those nowadays what's your name partner um well let's make this simple let's go josh the pleasure's all mine josh listen even though the two of us won't survive very long everyone i trusted died a while back do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Um, uh, who could we count on? I'm not really sure. We'll go, uh, that's Fred Flintstone? Why not? Oh, okay. This, okay, let's go Fred Flint. Doesn't fit. Um, who else can we count on? Um, <laughs> Robocop? You can always count on Robocop to, uh, restore law and order. Um, <laughs> Voldemort. Is that how you spell it? Voldemort, yeah, let's go for that. The no name, oh, the no nosed uh, evil dude from Harry Potter. Um, and we should we go for a girl? Let's go. I don't know. Sarah. How about Sarah? Sarah. Alright, let's go for that. <laughs> uh, are these names correct? Yes, they are. Fred Flint, Robocop, Voldemort, and Sarah. Cool, let's go. There's a good chance, if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Cool, let's get moving, Clements. Uh, he's back in his green hoodie, which... What? I thought he had a pistol. Look, is that... That's a really long pistol. <laughs> that's the old, uh, holding, uh... On Holden Kingswood just crashed into a into a brick wall. Sweet as. Let's go. All right, I think I've got just enough fuel and fuel to make us to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. Um, wh why would you be driving? You can't even drive. You just crash into a brick wall. Okay, anyway, fine. Let's go. The sun is setting. Clements is broke. <laughs> Clements has a broken arm. Right, okay, I didn't notice that before, but fine. Let's go. He's lost a lot of health with that. Clements has dysentery. Uh, <laughs> if, for those who don't know what dysentery is, it's, it's basically, it's like diarrhea uh, and mucus and, and infection. Um, <laughs> that's pretty disgusting, but okay, he's got that somehow as well. Hopefully he could stop for a toilet or something. Um, Clements was bitten by a zombie. Right, you know, I don't think this ever changes. I'm pretty sure Clement dies every time. He dies in normal mode like this as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, let's move on. You were out of fuel. Okay, you were wrong. We didn't make it to DC, Clements. What are you talking about? 
Well, um, an upside down car, guy hanging out of a building, <laughs> some dude crawling along, and a random dog. Awesome. Washington DC, what's going on? Just a station, just as a station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. Okay, sorry, we did make it. Good on you, Clements. You can hear that a radio blaring in a nearby window. I wonder if that's the zombie that was hanging out the window earlier. <laughs> Repeat, all survivors who still remain in the Washington DC, the government has declared a class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can, the city is lost. Okay, I don't even, can you make it out of um, a nuclear strike range in a couple hours? I, even if you didn't die from the initial blast, wouldn't you die from the radiation? I'm not even sure, um, looks like we have a time problem. I'll go have a look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Um, I don't think we should, Clement. You've been bitten. So, uh, you're pretty much dead. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Okie doke. Pick the supplies you want to gather. Hours remain, or hour remaining, hours, yes, four, uh, okay, so we get to choose four things, um, usually I go for quite a few med kits, because later on, when you're trying to sell med kits, they're worth quite a bit, and also, when people want to trade, they usually trade you, like, one med kit for a battery, or one med kit for a muffler, and that, so they're really, actually really handy, I'm not too sure, though, in suicidal mode, uh, we definitely need fuel, because we're stuck, uh, food, 125 food, definitely get a few med kits, and we probably need ammo as well, um, tires, mufflers, batteries, and money, we're gonna have to do without. I think on normal mode you get, um, it's like, 8 or 12, um, hours to gather stuff, so you can actually get a lot more than this, and easy, you just get a lot more, so. Your friends join the party, good on you, where's Voldemort, I guess it's that guy there with the... Like, he's got a double nose, he's got no nose, or, I don't know, what's wrong with her face? Maybe it's, maybe Voldemort to check. Um, okay, let's go. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. Yeah, you're damn right he bit you. We, or you, we read that. Um, I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. <laughs> okay, why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Good luck, Clements. Um, hopefully we can take his bag full of stuff and his, maybe his boots. Look like pretty cool boots. And his pistol. Did we get ammo from him? I can't remember. Um, it's been a long time since I played this, so... I think... What's that? That's probably the neck. That's probably the chest. The balls. Oh, shot out his kneecaps. Nice. Josh, put down Clements. I thought you had to shoot them in the brain. If you don't shoot zombies in the brain, don't they just come back anyway? So, he's just gonna be that dude that's crawling around. Um, <laughs> no leaks. Fred Flint, Robocop, Voldemort, and Sarah. Cool, let's go. Distance next landmark, 230 miles. Fine, let's go. Sad stats. Uh, check the engine light is on. Um, thanks, Clements. This is a real, real reliable vehicle you've given us. You find a backpack with some canned food in it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Have you guys heard the soundtrack, man? This, I mean, if you haven't heard it, which you're obviously listening to it right now, it's actually pretty cool. You find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Uh, probably. Maybe uh, give that to Sarah. Maybe she'll probably be the, the test dummy for that. You find the fuel can and at the abandoned gas station all right um that was really badly read you find a fuel can at the abandoned gas station all right <laughs> let's go let's go let's go just struggling to move pittsburgh sweet um so what do we got we got this dude there's i'm sure this dude's in every place eh? he's always just trying to sell his watches and shit um Right, uh, let's go buy some... Ah, oh, okay, we haven't got any money anyway. Right, uh, jobs. Defense, there is a massive herd of undead... Is that American spelling of herd? There is a massive herd of undead coming towards town. Hired, hired guns needed. Difficulty, suicide. 30 bucks. Recovery, I dropped something of great value to me just outside of the town. If you find it, please return it. 
these ones these recovery ones are usually pretty easy you just basically run um don't shoot the zombies unless they're really close to you or about to block your path or about to get you from below like that and you can usually make them even on suicide they're not that hard i don't think but this is only normal mode so check it out oh crap 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 ah uh, yeah we'll just outrun them you saying bolt them oh no all right there we go you made it easy cool defense there is a massive herd okay let's do that one 30 bucks oh um this is suicide eh right this is gonna be quite difficult actually without that line no um crap what i get that guy that guy doing all right doing all right headshot didn't kill him that's all right keep going keep going oh no oh no um keep going oh god i'm too slow too slow too slow no wait oh yeah look at this suicide oh no no, no. <laughs> easy um, actually, that wasn't very easy. I think I wasted a lot of ammo on that one. Um, you earned thirty dollars. Awesome. And more jobs. Um, next thing we'll do is go scavenge. It's similar to the other one. You, you basically just run around and pick up as much stuff as you can. Uh, what's is it? Ammo? I think that was ammo. It looked like I had a picture of a gun on the bucket or, or canister or whatever it was. Damn it. Okay. Um, you were attacked by a zombie while scavenging. You have been injured. You managed to carry seven ounces of food. Cool. I guess. How damaged am I? Party. Josh. Um, actually, I'm not that damaged. They're, they're taking a bit of damage just by doing nothing. Um, they might, I think they're getting tired. So you can rest. Um, and then when you rest, it recovers. I think it recovers their health, but it doesn't recover yours. I think you have to use a medkit to heal you. The other thing is that when you rest, like when you stop or, you know, do an hour's work, it takes 10 food. So basically we have eight hours uh, worth of food, well, seven hours now. And I still haven't been healed. Everyone else has. I don't know why I don't get a rest, but apparently you don't. So moving on, trade. What do we got? A passerby wants one of your battery for one of their tire. Will you trade? I don't even have a battery. No. Meet someone who will spare one of their battery for one of your tire what <laughs> I, I just told that guy what was this the other way around okay never mind you encounter with no one else okay cool let's move on um we've only got uh not that long so let's leave let's go you cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road the horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be ravenous massive and ravenous horde uh, wait to see if the horde disperses, break out the guns and clear a path, attempt to sneak through, hire mercenaries to escort you, and get information about your choice. Um, hmm. Definitely gonna hire, I'm not gonna hire a mercenary, I don't wanna pay anyone to do it. Uh, wait to see if they disperse, it's massive and ravenous, so probably not. Attempt to sneak through, again, massive, ravenous, break out your guns, clear a path. Let's do that. Do we have to shoot, or is that... No. <laughs> you were overrun by the horde. You lost the following. One fuel, two med kits. Oh my god. In the resulting struggle, Fred Flint was dragged from the station wagon and eaten alive. Oh my gosh. See you later, Fred Flint. You will be missed. No food? Oh man. Okay, I've put us in a really bad situation right now. We've got no food. Which I think will force us to stop. And then we're stuck here until we can find food. What do people just start starving? I don't know. Check engine light is on again. We should have got that fixed. You aren't sure which way to go. You lose an hour bickering with Sarah. Okay, um, the road is pretty much forward and back. You, how are you getting? Let's just keep going. Broken down cars block the road. Navigating the debris takes another hour. Okay. Meanwhile, we are running out of food. People's health must be going down. Yep. 
Following a wake of your vultures has le oh sorry, following a wake of vultures has led you to food. Awesome. How much did we get? Twenty eight ounces. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. You found five fuel in abandoned car suite. Okay, cool. So all we need is ammo. Is that right? And maybe some more scrap. You use scrap to heal uh, to fix your car. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which force you to slow down. Okay, well, we already made it anyway. We're at Mall uh, Apoco, left to die. Um, I think this may be a, is that a reference to Left 4 Dead, uh, the game? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Chat is two days, like, <laughs> that's probably Clements actually, after we took out his legs. He's trying to crawl his way down, just slides, falls down the stairs, this guy's intestines are hanging out. Awesome. Man, I, I love this game, mate. the graphics on this game are just awesome. The pictures, there's a guy, stealing his watches again. Let's keep going. What do we got? Town jobs. Defense. There is a large number of zombies just outside my home. Please come eradicate them. Dangerous. 24 bucks. Let's do that. We use this money to buy some more food and some more uh, petrol. Oh gosh, that's such a bad shot. We we'll use this money to. Well, if we actually survive. Because I keep missing. Oh man. This is bad. Oh man. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Faster. I need a machine gun or something now. Oh man, that was close. Okay, I just gotta do this quickly. Take him out. Take him out. I think we have it. Oh yeah, face shot. You survived the attack. Awesome. I'm sure that's twenty-four dollars. Cool. No jobs. I think we should try scavenging again. Uh, what do we need? We need. Oh, okay. So we need a couple of med kits. Well, I suppose we don't really need them at the moment. Um, I could probably use one. I guess I have. I don't know how much they actually heal. So, oh, full from there. So that's cool. These guys need a rest to heal them up. Uh, repair. Well, the station wagon's pretty beat up. How this works is if you use one scrap, so we have currently 10, if you use one, it gives you a 20% chance to heal that much of the car. Um, when you scroll it up, it doesn't heal any more of the car, but it just gives you a higher chance of success. So from 20% for one, we get 92% of success for 10. So we're going to do that because we really need our car fixed. You can also um, uh, heal the car at the mechanic. Um, at some of the bigger cities, there are mechanics that you can do. Uh, it up so under where are we oh, okay this is one of the smaller towns okay in the smaller towns you get a combat trainer and basically he gives you like you can choose well you not choose but you'll get like a, a certain special ability so this one's faster movement gives you five percent faster on combat um so we can learn up to three and then other ones you i think you get like um when you scavenge you get more chance of getting money or food and all these different skills uh, they are pretty hefty in cost usually, uh, yeah $80, we've only got 54 so we can't afford it anyway. It, it is a good skill to have though, 5%, uh, it doesn't sound like much, but it does make a big difference. Especially in those ones where you have to go recover stuff, it's usually pretty good. Um, let's go party up town. Where's scavenge supply? Scavenge. Let's do it. Massive bag of groceries just sitting right there. Oh, that's one of the, the big dudes. I think it's easier if you sort of just go side on with them. Because you can just sort of pull the mouse back quickly and that, that is enough to take care of them usually. It's those diagonal shots. Especially when you're playing on... I'm playing on a uh, 27 inch monitor so... It's really big, um, so you can't really see the whole, like when you're pulling it back, you can't always see the whole sort of range, so you can't see the difference between where you're aiming and where he is. Anyway, 115 food, all good. Cool, I think that's actually about time for this video. This is just a, a bit of a spotlight on this, on this one. I just wanted to see what you guys thought of it. Uh, let me know. If you'd like to see more, let me know. We can continue on. Otherwise, we'll try some other games out and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you everybody for watching and tuning in. Make sure you hit like so I know whether to do this again or leave a comment and just say, hey, make sure you do part two or something and I'll 
get onto that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.